the hottest new player in baseball. Hi, I'm Don Drysdale, and this is Baseball Talk. Today we'll talk baseball with Tim Raines. Timmy's one of the fastest men in the majors, but insists there's more to stealing bases than just raw speed. Base stealing is an art. You know, I think there's a lot of guys that have the great speed that can go out and steal a base, but I think there are guys that really don't have speed that can steal bases. I think once you get out there, uh, if you know the pitchers move, uh, if they slow to the plate, uh, if they're quick to first base, uh, how good the catcher's arm is, all those things, I think, come into mind when you have to worry about getting out there trying to steal a base. Reigns is deadly on the base pass, but that's just one phase of this superstar's game. He is also one of the best hitters in baseball, and in 1982, he drove in 70 runs and stole 70 bases, a feat that hadn't been duplicated since Ty Cobb. Well, I was aware of it the last day of the season. It was, uh, we was in St. Louis, as a matter of fact, and they put me in the fourth slot to be able to get the 70 RBIs. And uh, I hit a home run to get him, as a matter of fact. And uh, that was one of the days I remember as well, because uh, after I'd done it, uh, people had said the last guy to do it was Ty Cobb. And I, I sort of thought that uh, maybe Ricky Henderson had done it before, but he had done it. So uh, to be the first guy to do it, I thought was uh, a great feat. Baseball wasn't the only sport Tim excelled at when he was growing up. In fact, Reigns always pictured himself shining on the football field. I didn't really think about playing baseball until my senior year in high school. Uh, I was wanting to go to college and play football. Actually, I wanted to go to the University of Florida and uh, become a professional football player. But as I got older, I didn't get any bigger, so I figured that baseball would be my choice. All the accolades and achievements Reigns has received makes him very happy. But nothing makes him any more proud than his son, Tim Jr., who may follow someday in Dad's footsteps. He's eight years old, one on nine, and, and he loves the game of baseball, but he's now starting to get into football, so uh, that was my first love, too. So I think uh, once he gets old enough and really figure out what he really wants to do, I'll be behind him 100%, but I won't really force him into trying to be a baseball player. For Baseball Talk, I'm Don Drysdale. Thank you.